Greetings. Given what you've discovered in Chaltoff and Viridont, we need to widen our investigation. Republic ships have gone missing, and we can't afford these sort of losses. We need you to look into this problem. Head to the Beta Quadrant. One of our ships went missing near the Mempa system, and we want you to find out what happened. Chavez uh, gave us some new leads regarding Torvald's sister, Rina. While I appreciate the personal nature of your attempt to find Rina Kev, you need to focus on the big picture. Our fledgling Republic needs to establish its legitimacy as a political body, fend off attacks and intrigue by the Tal Shar and other external threats, and stabilize its claims on New Romulus. Right now, we need you to pursue this investigation. Our fleet is not particularly large, and we cannot afford to have any ships go missing. We need you to find out what's happening to them. Don't worry, this isn't the old empire where one person's welfare is put by the wayside for the good of the state. We'll keep looking for information about Rena. The best thing you can do is help the Republic to survive, so we can devote more resources to missions of a more personal nature. Okay. Time is short. What Okay, so we have... Hang on a minute, wasn't she just called something completely different? No worries. Hello! Okay, so we have... And uh, we have some skills to... We... Two science uh, seats in a what I'd regarded as a warship. No worries. Um, my own skills. That's what I was doing. So I picked up a space skill and a ground skill. So. And ground willpower of device and quick fix or shield recharge quick fix uh, threat control or hangout threat control Okay. So we'll go to the Mempa system as we've been asked by command. How far is it? Yeah, we'll transport. Mempa. Mempa system holds nine planets, many of which have seen staging ground and military operations. All of the planets are orbit a binary star system consisting of a G-type star, a yellow star, and a K-type orange star. Due to the radiant output of a pair of stars, most of the planets are at a significant distance from the system's center of gravity. In spite of its location on the borders of Klingon space, the Memphis system hosted several battles uh, during the Klingon Civil War of 2368, including a punishing defeat of the forces of the then Chancellor Gowron. These military actions forced the Klingon Empire to abandon active patrols and posts in the system, which led to an influx of scavengers, malcontents, and Criminal elements scattered across the various planets of the isolated in isolated bases. Begin the bigger picture.
Come on. There we go. We've arrived at the source of the distress signal. Scanning the area now. Any ships in the area? A Cardassian vessel is dead ahead, sir. Surrounded by a field of subspace distortion, and I'm reading a spike in the ship detectory emissions. Any life signs? Scans at this range are inconclusive. The radiation is interfering with our sensors. Hypothesis on the cause of distortion? The ship is badly damaged, but there's no clear relationship between the distortion and the ship. I ran a comparison to the anomalies we scanned previously in the Kittimer system. While they appear similar at first look, the spike in tetrions is different from what we've seen before. We need a closer scan. Sir, there's no sign of a Republic vessel in the area. Whatever happened here is unfortunate, but I recommend we continue our search elsewhere. It may look suspicious if we linger. That might be true, but we'd be cautious. Approach the ship. And we'll go pick up the crafting first. Full impulse just went offline. Expect, of course, is the distortion field near the derelict ship. Get the magnesite. And then we'll go into the ship. Scanning the derelict ship. Ship appears to have sustained damage, but not enough to disable primary functions or life support. There is one hull breach, but an emergency force field is in place. The ship appears to be deserted, uh, but even at this range, I can't be certain. There's significant interference from localized radiation. Can we access their computers remotely? Cardassians use a recursive encryption algorithm to protect their data from unauthorized access. We'd have to be on their bridge to tap into their systems. Then that's what we'll do. We have no idea what happened to this ship. We could be putting ourselves at risk for the sake of curiosity. I recommend we leave and continue our search elsewhere. Romulan, sorry, Re Republic ships may have suffered the same fate we need to investigate. It's your call, but if you're going over to that ship, then I'm coming with you. Understood. Transport us to their bridge. Interesting. No visible damage. Why would they abandon the ship? The bridge appears operational. Where's the crew? We need to know what happened here. Scan for life signs and check the security logs. No other life signs detected. We're alone. Check the recent log activity. They didn't vanish without a trace. something odd. There are no corpses on this ship. According to the log, they were attacked. The ship description fits what we've seen of the Alanchi. Several security logs were accessed recently. I think you're going to want to see this. Hey, what have you got? The security recording is from three days ago. That looked like a subspace. Whatever it is, it explains why there aren't any corpses. Are there any more recordings? One, One more. more. Pulling it up now. Well, that looks like a Larchi. Were they able to identify their attackers? No. Wait. That noise. Several ships are on approach and requesting status. 
Sir, they're Cardassian. They are transport us back to the bridge immediately. Cardassian scanned the derelict, they want to talk to you, sir. Put them on the view screen. Our way is the only true way. W. Dorid, lower your shields and surrender immediately. We carry an order of reprisal signed by an uh, sailor authorizing us to seize and detain public vessels. Consider situation, considering your situation, I suggest you view this as a uh, generous opportunity to save your crew. I will not surrender. That is unfortunate. Your ship would be worth far more undamaged. This is your last chance. Feel free to use the escape pods if necessary. Cardassian fool. No wonder the Dominion abandoned you. Two more waves are approaching the system. Recommend a defensive posture with power shields. Again. So that was a cruiser. These are smaller ships, faster, no more armed, but faster and maneuverable, though. Again, we use the cloak to close in. Close in on this one and do much the same. So I was monitoring messages during the battle and was able to isolate a long-range transmission. The Cardassian battleship sent a message to a location in the Eta, Arian, Eta Ariani sector block. Been able to put uh, the exact destination, but I continue to monitor the frequency in this for further transmissions. Excellent thinking. Let me know if you hear anything. The Cardassians were unaware of what had happened to their missing vessel. It appears the Alachi attacked them while they were hunting for our ships. Bad luck. We should destroy the derelict. Let the true way think that the Republic defeated all of their patrols. Agreed. Settle the ship. Actually, before we scuttle it. Scanning. And now we'll go in and scuttle it. Based on what you've learned, it seems that your next lead is in the beta 
Head to the Denali and see if you can learn more about where our ships are going and who's taking them. Okay. According, According to, to new, new intel, intel see the... According to new intel, Sila has started paying privateers to capture or destroy Romulan Republic ships. That would explain why these Cardassians are operating outside their normal territory. I suggest we track these true way ships back to their base. If we're lucky, they'll lead us right to the missing Republic ships. Follow the true way out of the system. a good distance. Okay, so transwarp. Zenatra is located on the edge of the Beta Quadrant at the uh, border between Klingon and Federation space. The system boasts five worlds, of which Donatu 5 is an M-class. Uh, Donatu has been, thus been the site of many clashes between the two galactic powers, stretching as far back as the 23rd century. Come on. Bigger picture. So a magnetic field is surrounding a large concentration of asteroids dead ahead. I run a sweep for Republic transponders, but either the Candassians removed it, or there's too much information uh, interference for its sensors to get along. There's also a Cardassian satellite dead ahead that might be impeding our scans. Satra, what do we know of this system? Donatu 2 is a J class planetoid, class J planetoid locked in orbit along with several hundred large asteroids. Because the planetoid has an iron core and is relatively close to the star, there is a significant magnetosphere trapping stellar wind plasma. The resulting magnetic flux of numerous asteroids will prevent us from safely uh, using full impulse once we enter that field. Give, give me a tactical analysis. Cardassians are more are like, most likely using their magnetic using the magnetic fluctuations in this area to hide their privateer operations. Our sensors were able to pick out a nearby satellite and a station located within the belt. Mark the location of both and both on our tactical map. Right, approach the satellite. Recommend we stay cloaked as we approach the station, sir. So we have cloaked. There's that satellite there. Heavy phaser beam turrets. Okay. What else is out there? Scanning satellite. In addition to the magnetic interference, the Scaldessians have mined the asteroids ahead with defense turrets. 
satellite appears to be a targeting array kept by a controller for those turrets. We may be able to access the satellite's programming, but there's a chance that if we do, we'll alert the Cardassians. Okay, access the satellite. I've successfully accessed the control layer within the satellite's operational routines. The satellite is sending commands to several of the nearby defensive turrets. We may be able to insert a malicious oh, uh, uh, command that might disable or neutralize many of the turrets. Let's overload the turret functions. New programming routines has been successfully uploaded. Not all the turrets in the area were successful, susceptible, but we soften the defenses between our ship and the Cardassian uh, begin the assault. If we avoid the magnetic flux energy, we should be able to remain cloaked as we approach the station. I need to cloak again. Just a thought. I thought as much. Right. When we got promoted, didn't um, upgrade our uh, or replace our traits. And uh, we got an extra trait slot when we got promoted. A nice plasma storm that uh, they've got here. I'm taking it's the brown is what we're trying to avoid, not the pink. Is that our gap there, by the looks of it. I'm seeing a Republic chart at the hand Worldbird. That's getting close now. So there's one, two, three of the smaller ships at least looks like we're getting through and in the clear that must be the J cl the class J planetoid there and we're clear And there's a more, there's a lot more ships. Okay. These Cardassians will certainly think twice about taking on the Romulan Republic. Yeah. 
a resilient shield array. On screen, cripple the station's defences, but the only matter of time before they summon reinforcements. Public warbird is being held at the station's dock. Scans indicate at least some of the crew are being held on the station break. Station's command centre is hailing us. Your brazen attack on this station is further proof that the Romulan Republic is nothing more than a terrorist cabal. We've contacted the legitimate Romulan government and alerted them to your presence. Any further acts of terror against this station or any Cardassian citizen will be met with deadly force. Release the Republic ship and her crew. Your ignorance of Cardassian history is insulting. We do not listen to demands. We give them. Close the channel. Give me a location for the Romulan crew. Crew is being held in a detention area on the station's outer ring. The area is shielded to prevent transport. Need to get the crew to the ship. Right, the station operates several uh, fusion reactors located at the base of the central core. We can configure our defectors to emit high amplitude electromagnetic uh, waves. It will disrupt the in inertial lasers of their, in their reactors. The safety shock protocols will cause a temporary power shutdown. If we time it properly, there will be a window and an opportunity to which the Cardassian switch to backup power to be able to transport the crew to their ship. Make the deflector operate. Right. I assume we can thank you for our escape. Before you transported us, I overheard a guard saying that more true way ships were approaching. We need time to restore emergency power. Please provide cover until we are able to go to warp. Warp to the flotilla as soon as you're able, we'll cover you. Okay. There they are. That was a little too easy. There's going to be more. There are, more, there are no more Cardassian ships. There are no uh, more Cardassian Power ships. Restored. Preparing to warp out of the system. Do so then. And they're away. Public ship has well, safely walked out of the system, sir. Report to safety, sir. We need to report to Subcommander Nadal and inform her of Cardassian privateering operations in the sector. We recommend we leave the system before any additional Cardassian reinforcements arrive. Okay. Hello. And how are you? Right. Excellent. I hope that your new starship has performed to your satisfaction. Now that we know about Sela's attempts to capture our ships, we'll order our commanders to exercise additional caution in territory near True Way space, or with other groups that might try their hand at privateering. I have received some new intelligence from our allies that may be of use to us. Expect to hear from me shortly. Okay. 
Brilliant. Okay. Not much of that is actually of much use, but it really does. Congratulations. You need it, You're doing 